So in this file, uh, we have a combined uh, server system. We have some catchments modeled in this file using the the unity to graph method, especially using the soil conservation services unit hydrograph. Uh, there is a storm modeled in this file. If we see this, we have a time depth storm that was modeled using the dimensionless curve type 3. And it's a model that is using the implicit solver. So the question is regarding this part of the system where we have the manhole number two that has a, a topology that can have an overflow occurring to the outflow number two. So to do this, we can model a control structure at the conduit number seven to block the flow and, and then to make the regular flow goes by the conduits 12 to 13 to go directly to the treatment plant. So to do this, we can add a control structure directly to the conduit. Okay, so there is a, a, an attribute on the conduit uh, within the group called the physical control structure, where you can define a structure at the starting point or at the stop point. I did this in a separated scenario. I create a second scenario called it with control structure. In this uh, scenario, I added a control structure at the beginning of the uh, conduit 7. Checking its properties, I change it to true. The attribute has con has start control structure. After changing to true, automatically you will have the attribute start control structure. In this, uh, uh, this is a uh, an attribute that is connected to a library. This library can be accessed using this shortcut, edit conduit control structure. And here we can create your control structure. In this case is a where with this crystal elevation, this length and this coefficient. This coefficient is related to the Bellinger equation okay, that will calculate the flow that goes by the structure crest. Uh, besides of where you can define a orifice or define a death flow curve. So with that uh, we can compare uh, a scenario uh, containing this control structure with the base scenario that we don't have the control structure. Um, computing these two scenarios using the batch run. understand what happens in this uh, in this part of the system. So a nice graph to do is for example selecting these two conduits holding the control function button and with a right click selecting the graph function. So with this we can add the base scenario and compare what happens with these two elements in these two scenarios. And I will keep the flow result as default 
and we can see that for the control structure we have uh, a different flow passing from the conduit number uh, 7. The conduit number 7 has uh, less flow with the control structure of course because it is it's uh, making the conduit number 13 having more flow. This is the line uh, in green. We can also compare the total flow that goes by the outflow number 2 to see this comparison with more details. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.